I will show you how to do a quick data analysis on Python using mostly pandas. And for plotting, we will use the matplot library. This video is for beginners. Uh, it does not include any functions or loops. So if you're having difficulties with functions and loops, uh, I will have a video uh, later on which gives more insight. But for now, we're just going to use a very simple structure. Uh, the first thing to start is you need to have Jupyter Notebook. You can download it. It's free. And what you need to do is upload the file. You can click here and select it from your computer. I already uploaded it. The file I'm going to use is called Call Entries 1. And to start, I will say new and I'm going to use Python. Great. So the first thing we do is we need to import the necessary libraries that we are going to use. So we only need uh, pandas. So I'm going to import pandas as PV and we also need to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So that is for the drawing part. So how do we get the file into Jupyter Notebook? So there is a command that you can use. It's, first of all, we need to set a variable. So where do we want to store the database? Uh, I call it data. It's very simple to remember. And the command is pv.read underscore. And my file is a CSV file, which is a comma separated file. Um, there are different kind of files. There's Excel. Uh, there are so many different ones. So you could take a look at that later. Um, and I call it call entries one. Great. So let's hope. Okay. Just a warning. Uh, let's see if it uh, actually loaded it in. Great. So using data.head kind of helps you to see how the table looks like. So you probably can tell that this is very messy. So we need to clean it up. And the first thing we do is we need to check if there's any data that is null. So I always use this command is called pd is null. And you give it the variable that you saved your data in. So is null data. Okay. As you can see, column one is there's no null data. Here we don't have null data. There is some null data in reasons, right? We don't have null data here. So all these columns here is null data. And as you can see in the top, it doesn't even have a name, so we can just drop these. So the command to drop null data uh, is, first of all, we save it again in our data variable. We use data drop na, which is like not assigned, and then axis one equals one. This means it looks at the columns. Axis one is columns, axis zero, would be the rows. And how, another command that you need to use, all, which means we drop all the columns where all of the values are null. Okay, we're still going to keep um, the, the other ones that have only certain null values. In this case, we just want to drop all the columns that have all the null values. Okay. Let's see how our data column looks like now. Let's see. Okay, looks already much better. So now we have only left the created by, the time it was created, the timestamp, reasons, comments, modified, and topic of phone call. So this analysis is a call center analysis. We are trying to find out which calls we received 
what was the topic of the phone call. Um, and this helps us for the call center to determine what is our most demanded or what are, what is that our students need the most and where do we need to train our staff on. Okay, so after we have that, we need to drop some other columns that we don't need. So we only need to keep, I want to keep the created by and the topic of phone call column. So in order to do that, we could say again data, to store it in data. And we say data, and we only put in here the columns that we want to keep created by and topic of phone call. Great, let's see. Data shape, we could use shape as well. It gives us how many rows do we have and how many columns. So we have two columns left, which we wanted, right? And we have 76 rows to work with. So we, we use this data head. Great. So we have here the name Spruce Spring Green. Took phone calls for Bursa, financial aid, admissions, and the other is unclear. Okay. The next thing we do is we check if there's duplicate values. So there probably will be, but it doesn't hurt us too much. We see that a lot of these are duplicated, but that is because our concern is that we only look at this employee who took phone calls in Bursa and he took more than one Bursa call. So that is why you see duplicate values. Usually you would drop those duplicate values but we don't have to because in our case, it doesn't matter. Great. So now in order to make our analysis a little bit simpler, we need to rename these columns because they have spaces. You should try to avoid spaces in Python. Uh, you will see why later. So how do we rename our columns? So we use data, which is our database where it's stored. Open columns equal to, and then we use the name that is currently, so created by, and we want to rename this to created by, okay, without space. Uh, and then we have the second one, which is topic of phone call, we want to rename to topic, that would be enough for us. And we can say in place equal to true, which is a command that says it's automatically updating it, so we don't have to store it again in data, because it will automatically take it over. So now in order to look at this, if it was successful, we use data head again. And as you can see, our columns were renamed. Great. So now what we do is we sort the values by topic. So we want to see how many Bursa calls did Bruce Springling take. Okay. So to sort the values, you use the data argument. Say data sort values and then by equal to topic. It's very simple. And if you want, if you want to keep it that way, you can just store it in the data variable again. So now if we look at that, you will see that it is sorted by topic, which would be with starting with admissions. Let's take a look. Great. So we see here that admissions is number one, right? Great. Next one is we can count how much, how many calls did Bruce Brinkling take from admission? And how much did he take for Bursar? So what we do is we create a new variable. We say by department because we want to sort it by department. 
we use the PD data frame argument and say data dot topic dot value counts. So I told you before that you should try to name it without spaces because in this case, if you want to use it this way, it's hard if you have a space because it would not take this argument if you do it like this topic by phone call. This would not be accepted by Python. So you just want to make sure that there is one or without space. And then you say value counts. And then you have the option to see what fraction of the total uh, amount of phone calls he took. So if you want to do this, if you want to see the fraction, you must use the following statement. It's called normalize equals to true. And okay, error message. The reason why is because I mistyped this here. It's data frame. So it's very important. You will see here. Okay, great. So it worked. And now we want to check it out. So we just type in here. Okay, so what that basically means is Bruce Spring Clean took 34% of the total of his phone calls for financial aid. So, which seems to be uh, a very high demand. So, we can conclude that our staff needs to be very knowledgeable in financial aid questions. Uh, the second one would be registrar, which is 26%, or still high in demand. Then we have 18% of bursar, admission 17%, and then other, which is generally really not giving us much information was around 4%. So that's kind of like why we need to do analysis. Uh, it helps us to be more efficient uh, in our workflow. And now what we do is we plot this because we want to see a graph. It's always nice to have a graph. And this is a very simplified graph. So as you can see, it shows you financial aid was number one, registrar, bursar, admissions, and then other. Uh, this was our analysis. Um, if you have any questions, please put a comment below. Um, feel free to share this video. And also I will upload the Excel file on my GitHub. So if you wanna check it out, um, my GitHub, I will post it below. And thank you for watching. Uh, we have new videos coming up soon, so make sure to tune in.